take it or face the consequences. Yodwin hadn't stopped listening to Lurdy all that time, showing how much he really cared about this bullshit. Yeah, whatever, said Yodwin. The consequences cannot be worse from becoming a yellow bamboo bug that sucks, uh, that sucks major cacks. The Grandmaster nodded and saluted Yodwin with a martial arts bend. Hm. So be it! Kakatekoi! He yelled. As the weird gassy aura started, started forming around him, <laughs> the aura started smelling funny, like roast nuts. What the hell? said Yodwin, as he saw the Grandmaster concentrating the aura in his hands and projecting his heart towards him. Honara Hadouken! he yelled, and the aura gases united, propelling a blue flaming ball towards Yodwin. Yodwin performed a block move, and the aura got splattered in the mess of smelly, half combust, flatlands gases. Hey, you threw a flaming fart at me. Is that the power of Yellow Bamboo? You suck like totally, man. That's enough, yelled the Grandmaster, as he continued hi shooting his key balls at Yodwin, who just avoided them or blocked them with, Yuma with the occasion of Yuma One of those landed with Fred's bat, who hadn't moved since this wall shit began. Fred's bat was set on fire, and Fred let off a fart that ignited and propelled him at 300 km per hour. Ah. Uh, He's the one that led us to you, said the Grandmaster, as Fred landed inside the park, spawned with his ass a sprouting flames intermittently like a defective rocket. He's expendable, fuck him, he concluded. The yellow bamboo bug started yelling, Use your heavy weapon, oh great master, he won't be able to escape though. The master then concentrated, his whole body shook and started moving twice as fast. His hands reached for his um, rear pockets, he yelled, They bench and do can! and a brown pulsating ball of liquid surrounded by flaming blue gases started flying towards Yodwin, who at this time had his back turned at the alley of where the cowardly bugs were hiding. Hmm, something tells me that I don't really want to block or hit this one, he thought, and so performed a sliding kick out of the dreaded projectile, which crashed on the bugs, exposing with his wet splash sound, covering with them with flaming smelly shit, which turned into burning ammonia that hurt and stink. Oh no, said the Grandmaster, my beloved, this will have been exposed to the pure, undiluted power of yellow bamboo. If you wish to call it that, said Jodwin, as he swept the Grandmaster clean off his feet. The Grandmaster landed with a loud thud on his butt, quite not fitting for a so-called martial artist. Angry, the Grandmaster yelled, ATTACK! And the cow of the yellow bamboo bug started charging towards Jodwin yeah, like a bunch of horny bulls. Yodin performed a high jump and just let out of barge of finished insults like that fell like bombs on attacking bugs, pawning them badly, making them scream pimply pain. Most of them also sold their pants. Get up, get up, ordered the Grandmaster, and with a gesture ordered the bugs to surround Yodwin. Yodin, however, just started spinning like a cyclone and cursing with more fin finish insults, as they rolled, rolled mightily rotating blades of Perkele, along with fearsome whiplashes of Yumalauta, sliced through the bugs, making them whine like sea as noobs pawned by a wall hacks. In the mean, however, the Grandmaster, who had recovered from the fall, let uh, a mighty battle cry, as mighty as a yellow bamboo battle cry can be, jumped in the air, screamed, Tatsumaki Damen Kyaku! Spread his legs started spinning like a helicopter, propelling himself towards Yodwin. Meanwhile, flaming balls of undiluted yellow bamboo power started orbiting around him like unholy satellites, with their numbers increasing at every spin. Yodwin, however, had barely recovered from this his mighty rotational attack, and the Grandmaster had gotten too close. The choice was tough. Contact blocking was not an option, not with this shit floating around. I got it, thought Jodwin. Suddenly, the world around Jodwin seemed to freeze. His vision became negative, and he could actually see the Grandmaster's rotation, like the Matrix. Jodwin started a SHOURUKEN attack. Carefully passing through the Grandmaster's rotating legs and avoiding the shitty balls, he emerged on top of the situation and screamed a very slow down Yumalauta right on the Grandmaster's head, while he continued the jump and started getting out of the way of what was about to happen. 
The Grandmaster went out of balance and started jerking around in the air like a faulty helicopter while the shitty balls were being shot all over the place, exploding and spraying everything around him with shit. Soon the surrounding buildings, the park's grass and the surviving boats became covered in disgusting flaming shit. As the master emitted weird gurgling sounds, he started losing a smelly gas like a perforated zeppelin, which in Nathan made him the part like a deflating balloon, his destination unknown. Upon seeing this, the bugs got so scared that they totally stopped whatever they were doing, sold their pants again, and went to their mummies. How pathetic. Yodwin watched them go, he never stopped listening to music at any time during this, didn't, didn't even break a sweat, and didn't have a single spot on him. And sternly declared, Oh you know, Yodwin's so powerful! The hood was now his again.